That's our first word. Electricity. Electricity. Right? It's a long word, right? But if we、uh, count how many sounds are in electricity, e l e c t r i c i t y Wow, five sounds, right? Electricity, right? We make a big sound on tr, electricity. So, everybody, electricity. Okay, electricity is energy. Like I said, we've been talking a lot about energy in this textbook, right? We've talked about, before we talked about heat. Heat is energy. Light is energy. We talked about sound. Sound is energy. This is all energy, right? But electricity is very powerful energy, right? V much more powerful than these other ones. Electricity gives computers and other machines power, power to work. Electricity is a very powerful form of energy. We need it and we use it every day. Okay, where do we get electricity from? We get electricity from a power plant. P, right? We have to practice the P sound. Power plant. Power plant. What is a power plant? A power plant is a building. It's a building. This building is a power plant. A building that produces. Produces, makes. Produces and makes, same word. So a power plant is a building that makes or produces electricity for many things for people. Many things? What things? Well, think about it. You use electricity for your computers, for your MP3 players, for your stereo set, for your cell phone, for the lights in your house. We use electricity for many, many things. Where do we get electricity? We get electricity from a power plant. Let's take a look at a power plant,、uh, a video of a power plant. Here is a, a power plant. This is actually a nuclear power plant. We can tell because of these、uh, structures right here. It is a nuclear power plant. Nuclear. Nuclear power plant. Now, it's making a lot of smoke, right? But don't worry, most of the smoke at an electricity power plant is actually steam. All of this smoke coming out is very、uh, hot water. Steam or hot water is used to produce electricity. So a lot of that water is so hot, it creates steam. And that steam、uh, comes off here. It's not, it's not really a lot of pollution. It looks bad, but it's not that bad because most of this is water vapor coming out of the power plant. But this is a typical example of a power plant. This is actually a nuclear power plant because you can tell by these structures here. Okay. Now, we're also looking at in this lesson fuel. Fu what is fuel? Actually, there are many types of fuel if you think about it. Wood is a fuel, a type of fuel. We use wood. Wood is kind of the, perhaps the oldest type of fuel that human beings have been using. We use wood. To make fire. So we put fuel on the fire, we're talking about wood. What's a type of fuel that you use every day? Think about it. You probably use it three times a day in the morning, at noon, and in the evening. That's right, it's food. Food is fuel for your body. Okay? In this case, in this picture, fuel is gas that your mom or dad puts in the car and that makes the car run. Fuel is something burned to make heat or power. So we burn wood to make fire, to make heat. We burn food in our bodies to give us power. We put gas in our、uh, cars. The engine burns that gas to make power so our cars can go fast, right? So fuel is anything, something that we burn to make. Heat to make it warm or to make power in order to do something, right? So, fuel, there's many kinds of fuel, and we use fuel a lot in our modern lives. Okay. Battery. Now, battery is not really fuel, right? It's, battery is a different type of thing. It's a storage device for what? What do you store in a battery, right? You store electricity 
in a battery because sometimes you go away you know maybe there's not a power plant near you or there's no wires or electricity outlets near you you go out into the mountains or you go out into nature away from your home where can you get electricity right you have your cell phone where do you get electricity from well you use a battery battery and these of course are very common types of batteries but there are many many different kinds of batteries lots of different shapes lots of different sizes in your mom or dad's car there's a really big battery that's the battery to get the engine going right in your cell phone you have a smaller battery but it's bigger than one of these batteries okay so there are many types of batteries batteries of course store electricity they keep electricity inside them so when you need electricity you can use it you can carry it with you wire a wire is a long thin cable very thin that carries electricity and if you look at the wire there's really two parts to the wire there's a metal part right there this is the metal the metal part of the wire remember we talked about metal a long time ago usually copper is used as the metal to carry electricity and that's one part of the wire the other part is right here that's the this part right here that is plastic now the plastic is around the metal and that protects you right because if it's just metal and you touch that metal and there's electricity going through it right that's very dangerous you got to be careful so that metal right don't touch that metal it you are protected by plastic so the plastic is a protection for you against the electricity also you don't want the metal touching each other if two electric wires touch each other then it's really bad and your computer might break right you might have a fire also so like I said before electricity is a very powerful type of energy so we got to be careful with it so wire we use wires to carry electricity carry electricity from one place to another let's take a look here okay outlet outlet is the place where the wire comes to we just saw wire carries electricity from the power plant to your house and there's a wire behind this that goes to the power plant so that's what wires do and the wire comes to a stop and end right here in the outlet so an outlet is a place on a wall for electricity and this is how electricity comes from the power plant to your house along a wire okay okay so we just saw the outlet but what do we put in the outlet we put a cord in the outlet and remember on the outlet you saw those two holes well that's where you put the plug this is actually what we call a plug it's part of a cord the plug you plug the cord into the outlet plug it into plug it's a noun but we can also use it as a verb plug it into the outlet plug it in or plug it into the outlet then you get power then you plug this other side into your computer wow you got power on your computer so a cord is a cable this is the cable it's like a wire too there's wire inside there it is used to connect machines to electricity so this part you put in your computer this part you put in your outlet and now you have connected your machine your computer your mp3 player your cell phone to electricity okay so that you can use it or you can recharge the battery okay but you need to connect it to electricity okay now like i said before be careful right this little boy is is in danger right this of course is a uh, a cord used to jump start a car's battery there's a lot of electricity runs through here right this is negative and this is positive he should not touch these together right that's very dangerous 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 means harmful and unsafe it's not safe to play with electricity do not play with electricity just use electricity properly because it could be very dangerous like I said before electricity is an energy it's very powerful energy it's one of the most powerful 
energies we've been talking about in this book. So you have to be very careful with electricity because it is dangerous. Okay. Lesson 13. Electricity. Electricity. Electricity is energy that gives computers and other machines power to work. Power plant. A power plant is a building that produces electricity for many things or people. Fuel. Fuel is something burned to make heat or power. Battery. A battery is an object that stores electricity. Wire. A wire is a long, thin cable that carries electricity. Outlet. An outlet is a place on a wall for electricity. Cord. A cord is a cable used to connect machines to electricity. Dangerous. Dangerous means harmful and unsafe.